Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Y'all, let me tell y'all what I got. I got red lobster for dinner tonight because I'll tell y'all. This is just a little... A little Caesar salad, that's my side. And some crab, um, some crab um, fettuccine. I couldn't make up in my mind what I wanted, y'all. I felt, I got something out to cook, but I've been feeling so bad this weekend. I was supposed to work this weekend, but I'll tell y'all about that too in a minute. Let me say my grace real quick. Dear Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to receive for nourishing my, my body in Christ's name. Amen. So, yeah, y'all. This lady from um, DoorDash just um, delivered this to me. And so, I had some pink lemonade earlier, and it was so good and refreshing till I made me some more for dinner. Good. That's just one of them wireless drinks packs. Well, anyway, like I said, y'all, let me put a napkin up here because I got some Cheddar Bay biscuits too. Don Mosquito done got in my Don house. So I was talking to the talking to the uh, DoorDash lady. Anyway, so let me put some, you know, let's get my boy Frank's over on this stuff. I uh, couldn't get myself to cook, and then I looked at the pizza place, and I'm like, I don't want that. I looked at the um, Chinese delivery. I didn't want that. So this is my first time actually using any of the delivery services, y'all, and then I use DoorDash. Mm. That's good. I give you a teaspoon of dressing. I can tell you that right now. This is the Caesar dressing. I hadn't eaten that red lobster in so long, but I had a cute, I had a, some coupons and stuff, so. I decided to do it. I was gonna work this weekend, y'all. I did one lift on, what day was that? Friday night, I was so tired after I dropped them off. My body was like, you got to go home. You, I didn't feel good. I, my body just was like, y'all, I got to my house. I turned the lift off. off. I was downtown. And I drove home, which was about a 25, almost 30 minute ride. Well, honey, I um, got home. And I went straight to sleep. I got up Saturday morning, I ran a few errands, took my shower, ran a few errands, and I had had a, I did like, I went over to Mud Island on the river for a minute, and I did like three lifts. I had ordered some groceries to pick up at two from Kroger, because they had given me a, um, outdated meat uh lunch meat it was like 10 days old so they give me a 25 dollars gift card you know for the inconvenient and so i ordered a few things from them that i needed and i went and picked that up and i spent like 11 extra dollars which was fine and then i forgot to get some cooking non-cooking oil spray and i was out so i um did that and I picked that up and I actually bought my this is two days in a row I'm eating out but I bought me some fried buffalo yesterday from AJ's Catfish for Next Connection and it was real I was just too tired to turn on any kind of tape after I put the groceries up I ate my fish which it was really good and I went to sleep y'all I was just broke down 
I was out. I'm, I'm just been aching all over. Like my body's been aching. My legs been aching. Shoulder, everything. And so, I, um, like I said, I got something down to cook. But I just like, I can't do it today. So, I, um, got up this morning and went out, filled up my tank for the week. And I ended up talking to the owner up there at Exxon. We talked for about 15 minutes. He would tell me how tired he was. And then I went to CVS and got me some relief. So like I said, I was out and got that cooking spray. I came home, made me some eggs, and took that relief. And I sat down. I ate the eggs, and I got about 9 o'clock. I ate the eggs and took the relief. And I slept again until about 12.30. So I've been up putting around, but I've been dragging. And my body is just still achy everywhere. So. I don't know what that is from. This is pretty good. This, this, I tell y'all, this is the crab linguine. I didn't know if I wanted the crab or the shrimp. You don't get that much crab in it, but it's still pretty good. So, that's what I've been doing this weekend, y'all. I worked enough lift. I made $70, so that's something better than nothing. I actually just got done talking to the uh, DoorDash person about doing DoorDash. And what I like about it is, what intrigued me about doing it. Well, she said, you could pick your area. You want to deliver in. And you know, with Lyft and Uber, you have to go all over. So, she told me she worked at night full time. And, so I think that's what I'm on. Looking and signing up for. Let's see about doing that. Also, so I was worried about getting in and out the car, you know, but she said it's not so bad. So, let me see. Strictly does it after work. So, mm-hmm. And that's what my intent is. But anyway. So I was reading this article, y'all, and I thought this was this was really nice. Um, the Smith guy, this billionaire. Um, I think he gave the commencement address over at Morehouse for the class of 2019. Well, during his commencement speech, he um, told the students that he would pay off all their student loan debt. That was their pledge. He pledged to them. And the article went on to say he had already given like one point something million which is going to be used for scholarships and some improvement of a park, I think. But this pledge equates to like, what I said, $40 million. And mm, just some of the stories, y'all, um, that I was listening to, I mean, I read was like, one guy was like $35,000 and then his parents said that he would help, they would help him pay it. But now he's going, he can't wait to call and tell him the news. Um, 
Another guy said his mother had worked to, you know, he was $90,000 in debt. He, um, his mother had worked all these little part-time jobs and had taken out of a loan for him. He said now, you know, to go to school and I think it also said he was the first one to graduate from college in his family, so could you imagine? And it said it was about 400 students. And while everybody can't, you know, give them that magnitude, just think if those 400 take and one of the things he he challenged him to do is pay it forward. And just think, y'all, if those 400 students touch another 400 individuals and pay it forward, I know they may can't pay their tuition or pay it in that magnitude, but if they sow a seed into another young person, you know, financially, you know, how that would have a huge domino effect, you know, ain't nothing in here but a little cheese, but that would be really, you know, really good if that could happen. Y'all, one of our family members, B. Loves, asked me to talk about the death of a spouse. And I don't know anything about that. You know, I know some people who has lost spouses. You know, my, my mother, my you know, and stuff like that. So I can speak to it to that. But what I will tell you, I'm just going to speak to the death of a loved one. And she said her friends are telling her, you know, God will send you somebody else, but she's not looking for that. I can't imagine that that's a very difficult thing if you spent years with somebody and you lose them. You know, each kind of death, it has some similarities, like the death of a child, a death of a spouse, a death of a parent. It's totally different, a sibling. It's a total different role each person plays in your life. What I will tell you is that you can lean on God through all of them. And if you have to grieve and have to shed a tear, then do that. But you are strong and you can survive. And that spouse that you had that loved you for years, I'm sure we want you to go on and live your best life. And your best life does not necessarily mean being with somebody else. You know, the hope is that God will bring you to a place of joy and peace where you love and, and enjoy your own company. And that was the one thing that I spent, it's not, I spent some time with myself yesterday, you know, spending time going to do things because you may not always necessarily have someone to do something with. So, you're going to have to just learn to have a joy, an independent joyful life, you know, that may not be associated with someone else. And one thing I do know too, not saying that you need to be with somebody else, when you're not looking, <clears throat> that's when it comes to you. So, if it's meant to, for you to be with somebody else, you will. I will tell you this, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for you some peace. And Take your time. You don't have to move on anybody else's time because no one else knows what you, you know, can, even if they've been through the same thing, they don't, don't really still know what you're going through. 
on how you manage it, whatever it is. You have to manage. You have to process, ooh, excuse me, this in your own way and your own time. I'm making a darn mess. Every time I eat something, I drop it on myself. Anyway, did y'all cook today? And if so, what did you cook? What you having for dinner today? Oh, shut it up, baby. Biscuits just be delicious. I haven't had that those in a long time. But they are really good. I was looking at this thing this morning and well I went in a gas station the other day just to grab me um what day was that? Was that yesterday? A powerball. Um it was three gentlemen in there. One had come in with me and it was two more. The clerk and another guy. And we got on talking about different stuff, retirement, lottery, stuff. And the guy was saying he wanted to have enough money just not to have to work. And I said, yeah, that's how I am, too. I don't have to win the big one. And so, other gentleman said, well, he was 54 years old. He said, I'm, he was over there looking for the hot dog bunch. He said, I'm 54 years old. He said, when I get to be 62... He said, I want to work because I want to, but not because I need to. And so I was talking to someone else, and they were complaining about they had to pay taxes in their retirement. I'm like, you're blessed. Think about if you still had to pay a mortgage, and some people retiring still had to pay mortgages. Taxes is quite half the time, maybe two months worth of what a mortgage would be. Our rent would be with some somebody. So I was watching briefly this morning. I think it was something on one of them uh, channels about, you know, how they have the news stuff on Sundays. And this particular one was talking about med, medical. Medical. And I think that's the reason why most retirees still work is that medical, their largest expense is medical. You know, because at most time they have gotten to a stage where they own their own homes and stuff like that. So that's what when having the insurance you do have may not necessarily cover everything. That was good, y'all. Anyway, that's enough of my job japping. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed Sunday night. And to be quite honest with y'all, I'm still dragging. I'm gonna go lay down and get me some rest tonight and get ready for my work day tomorrow i want y'all to know that i love you love you much thank you for spending some of your day with me this day i hope you're having a beautiful and blessed sunday know that you're loved i love you but god loves you the most remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed and i'll see y'all later on this week for a meal in the chat have a joyful night